Hey guys, my name is Chris. Welcome to Casual Fragrances. Hope you're having a great day. What's your scent of the day or scent of the night? Drop your comment down below. Today we're doing a cool fragrance battle video between two amazing hyped up fragrances in the fragrance community or in the fragrance game in general. From big houses, we have a designer versus a niche fragrance or AKA Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim from the house of Louis Baby versus Perfumes de Mario or PDM this is sadly. So in this video, we're going to do a battle video between both fragrances and see which one is better and which one I prefer to wear more. Please keep in mind, I bought both these fragrances. They were not sent to me by the brand. So just keep that in mind. Okay, guys, are you team A for Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim or are you team B for Fumps de Marley? This is sadly. Drop your comments down below. This battle video, we're going to touch on the performance, how I feel about the fragrances, how much they cost. Let's start with Louis Vuitton. This is Afternoon Swim. First off, this beautiful bottle presentation. How all the Louis are, this is blue. And the cap here is black with the LV logo. Magnetic cap, which is awesome. And the sprayers are beast mode. Okay, so this fragrance here retails for $320 for a 100 ml bottle. If you would like to buy double the size this, it is a 200 mil, you're looking at $450. I'll leave all the price and links down below if you'd like to buy this or the link where you can go to your local boutique in your area, see where it's located at. These bottles are refillable. If you'd like to, once you empty your bottle out, you pay about, I think it's $200 with tax. You save about 120 bucks and they refill your bottle. So when your bottle's empty, they clean it out with water, they clean it all out. Then they fill the juice back up. They give you a new atomizer here and they give you a new cap and it sends you on your way. I like this because if you do refill your bottle, you're not spending $320. You're saving 120 bucks to refill your bottle. This is a fresh fragrance. So yes, you're going to have to have many sprays to make this smell fresh and clean throughout the day. That's why a lot of people love Louis because you can refill them if you empty out your full bottle. If this is your signature scent. You definitely want to get it refilled without breaking the bank. Now we have Perfumes de Mar, or I like to call PDM. This is sadly beautiful presentation as well. I love the horses. This is a heavy cap. This could actually hit, break somebody's head with this really heavy. Snaps into place. You can pick it up by the cap if you want, because it is very heavy and sturdy. Sprayers are beast mode as well. Pressure atomized. You can do a little bit, a lot, or a whole lot, which is awesome. Now these fragrances aren't, aren't cheap at all, just like Louis are, baby. But this is a niche fragrance, and that's a designer. This here, you're looking at about uh, $265 um, for a 75 ml bottle and a 125 ml bottle looking at about uh, $365. Now, price is very dependent on where you buy it at because you can't get it at discounts. It's been out for a couple years now. So do your research. You don't have to buy it at a boutique. You can buy it online. I'll leave links down below to get this at a discounted price. I can't do it for Louis, but for this, there's a couple websites where you can get this a little bit cheaper. Now, this fragrance here is not a refillable bottle. You have to buy it. So once you empty your bottle out, you have to buy, repurchase it again. But this one here is another fresh and clean fragrance, just like Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. Now we're going to touch on the note breakdown and how these fragrances smell on my skin right now. Let's touch on Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. So this fragrance here, I post the notes on the screen so you guys can see a note breakdown. Okay, this one here. Oh man, this one here has notes of bergamot, Sicilian orange, mandarin, ambergris, and ginger. This one here is a very refreshing, clean fragrance. This is one where anybody could wear, a man or woman could wear it, grab it, couple sprays, you're good to go. If you wanna do five sprays, that's fine. You wanna up it to eight or 10, it's fine. It's a very refreshing fragrance that's not gonna offend anybody. You can wear this any time of year if you want to. If you wanna wear it as a signature scent, just have one fragrance that everybody remembers you by. It's a perfect scent to wear. Now this one opens up, you're getting the freshness from the citruses. There's a lot of citruses in this fragrance here from the bergamot to the mandarin orange to the Sicilian orange. It's like a very refreshing uh, fragrance for your spring and summertime. It definitely puts you in a happy mood wearing something like this. Um, it's fresh from the opening, more to the dry down. You definitely get some amber grease. You get a slight bit of ginger in it, but this is not a sweet fragrance. This is more leaning on the very refreshing, watery, um, sea salty side. There's not aquatic notes in it, but you definitely get a sea salty feel when you wear it, but it's not a sea salty fragrance. So it's very fresh, clean and citrus fragrance. Now we have Perfumes de Marley. This is Sedley. Oh man. 
This here, freshness in the bottle as well. Love the sprayers. Now this here had notes of spearmint, grapefruit, lemon. Now this here is another fresh fragrance as well. This doesn't give you the summer tropical vibes, but it gives you more of a blue feeling fresh fragrance, like a Dior Sauvage, a Blue de Chanel. Not the same fragrances, but you could put this in that category as a blue fragrance for a gentleman to wear. Can a female wear? Sure, but I know this is more leaning on the masculine side to me as a blue fragrance. And this one is a great gentleman fragrance that you can wear dressed up or dressed down. Like I said, as soon as you spray, you're definitely getting bursts of citruses. You're getting this touch of spearmint as well. The mintiness is there for a good bit, not a long time, but it's there for the good amount of the opening. Then you're getting some lavender. You're getting some geranium. So geranium kind of gives off a little bit of a minty or rose feel, but you get more of a minty feel. Sort of mint there, but it does calm down some. And you're getting more of the lavender, the sandalwood, the cedar. This is a great fragrance as well. Now we're going to touch on the performance for each fragrance and let you know which one is better or worse right now. Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. So this one here, the performance is a hit or miss. Some people say they get six or eight hours. So for me, uh, my performance projection is good for the first hour or so, right? You're going to catch wafts of it. About a half of them doesn't project that far. Now it could radiate a little bit heavier in the warmer months, but at the end of the day, it's about a good hour of nice um, projection. Longevity, it's a hit or miss for some people. I get about four to five hours. My friend Jerome, shout out to Jerome, he gets about six hours. Everybody's skin can be different. So if he does get six hours, it's an hour more to me. It's not much more than that. Some people say they get seven, eight hours. If your skin chemistry does it, that's great. But majority of people that buy this, they get about four or five hours. And that's the con with this here. People complain about it doesn't last. It's a fresh fragrance. There's so many citrus notes in it. It's not going to last. That's just how this fragrance is. That's why other fragrances, they have notes of saffron, leather, ooh, they're going to last because that, that concentration of leather fragrances will last a long time. Citruses eventually dissipate. They fade. When the sun hits it, it's almost gone. But that's the performance of Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. Let's touch on performance for... PDM, this is Selly. So Selly is one of those fragrances that I get about a good hour and a half to maybe two hours of projection. It's very nice projection. The problem with this here is that I have the same issue with Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim is longevity falls short. I get about three to four hours. Now keep in mind, this was the first batch that came out. They did re-bring it out again and they made it in a bigger 125 ml bottle that one lasts about eight hours plus on my skin so if you get the new bottle the 125 ml you're going to get great performance better than louis vuitton afternoon swim and my humble planet i tested out the perfumology and i tested out neiman marcus so there definitely is a difference in concentration but some people say it lasts all day it is what it is i'm just giving you my perspective because i'm the only one wearing the fragrance but this is one that you can always reapply it couple sprays here and there you can go heavy six seven eight ten sprays these are fresh fragrance not going to offend anybody most people say oh you smell fresh and clean minty citrusy so on and so forth now we're going to touch on seasons and occasions now season wise for this right here you're looking at more of the spring and summer this is one that you could wear all year round single scent because if you're indoors in the fall winter time like most people are unless you're doing construction or you're outdoorsy person this will work all year round signature scent it's so refreshing, so clean. You can wear it anytime. It's not a wrong time to smell fresh and clean. Unless a woman or guy doesn't like a person to smell fresh and clean. It is what it is. Occasion wise for this, anytime. Date night, casual, running errands, daytime, nighttime. You can dress it up or dress it down. It's a Swiss Army knife. You grab it and you spray it. You don't have to think about it. It's a dumb reach. It's expensive, dumb reach. Very expensive, but it gets the job done. But Fums and Marley, Sally. Let's touch on. The seasons, same thing. You're looking at spring and summer. This is versatile where you can wear it all year round if you want a signature set as well, like afternoon swim. Occasion-wise, same thing. Day or night, casual, um, date night, wear it to work, um, church, gatherings. This will get the job done. It's fresh, it's green, it's citrusy, it's blue. This is an easy fragrance to wear as well. Okay, guys, getting to the final part of the video. We're talking about ratings and final thoughts. Let's touch on the ratings and final thoughts for Louis Vuitton Afternoon Swim. So the rating for this one is easy, 8 out of 10. So I can't give it a perfect 10 because the price point is way too high for 320. You're paying for the name Louis Vuitton. You're not paying for the actual juice. Let's keep it real here. If you know about luxury, that's what this brand is. It's a luxury brand. Not everybody can afford it. And it's not a bad thing. That's just how life is. 
You know, everybody wants a Porsche or a Lamborghini or the hot girl. If you can't afford it, you can't afford it. Let's keep it real here. But it doesn't have the longevity. So some people are going to say, well, why would I buy a 300 on fragrance plus with tax, probably like 360, right? And it only lasts about four or five hours. Well, it's a fresh fragrance. This is what you get when you buy a fresh fragrance. And you're buying because of the name, not because of the juice. Now, you might love the way this smells, but you're spending that money because of the Louis Vuitton fragrance. And the presentation, the box, the whole experience at the store, that's what you're paying for. The other thing is that you can't give it a perfect 10 because it is a luxury fragrance, but at the end of the day, it's a fresh fragrance. It's nothing to write home about. It's a fresh and clean fragrance that you smell it in other designers, but they make it so well quality and the juice is so fresh and amazing that you want to get it. But it does lack the performance and not everybody will be able to buy it. So I can't give it a perfect 10. They do have clones and dupes, so definitely I'll leave links down below if you want to get a clone of this and try it out. By all means, do your own research. But it's a good fragrance. I like it, and it's an 8 out of 10. I think people should definitely go to your boutique, get a sample, and try it. You might actually like it at the end of the day. Whether you're a man or woman, if it's anybody, any age, any gender, definitely check out Afternoon Swim by Louis Vuitton. This is Parfums de Mar. This is Sedley. Now let's touch on the rating and final thoughts. So for me personally, I'm going to give this a 8.5 out of 10. I love the way this one smells. Very versatile. The newer version does perform better. You can get that discounter now for around 200 bucks, 250, maybe 100 bucks for the bigger size. It's been out for a couple years. And I love the way the mint in here, the bergamot, the lemon, beautiful fresh fragrance, as well as that new swim. This has high quality as well. This is a niche fragrance, so you expect that. Spend this type of money with a beautiful presentation as well. I'm not going to give it a perfect 10 because this doesn't last as long as a lot of other fragrances from Perfums de Mari, like Late and Late and Exclusive, but they have different note breakdowns. But it's a great, refreshing fragrance like Galloway, um, Perseus, um, Greenlee, so on and so forth. Definitely check out all the fresh fragrances from Perfums de Mari. But this one here, I wish it lasted a little bit longer, and I wish it had a newer, reformulated version of it as well. But you guys should definitely sample this at your local boutique, Perfums de Marley, um, Nordstrom, Saks, Neiman Marcus. They have it there to try as well. Thank you guys for watching. If you like these type of fragrance battle videos, please show your support by liking the video. Don't forget to click the bell icon to so miss any future content on this channel. And make sure you can subscribe to the channel by clicking that red subscribe button down below. Be safe, everyone. I'll catch a new video very soon. Peace.